Dear students, good morning to all. Today we can continue with the exercise 5.3. So the last day we can completed question number 4. The next question, question number 5. So question number 5 is, find the sum of 51 terms of AP in which second and third terms are 14 and 18 respectively. So what is the question? Find the sum of 51 terms. So we can find the sum of the 51 terms of AP. You know that sum of the n terms n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Here we can check sum of 51 terms that means S51. Okay and given second and third terms are 14 and 18 respectively. Okay so here second terms of ap a2 is equal to 14 and the third term a3 is equal to 18 okay therefore we get the common difference d is equal to a3 minus a4 is equal to here a3 is 18 and a4 is 14 so 18 minus 14 is equal to 4 so d is equal to 4 we know that second term is 14 so that is a plus d. That means a, a plus d, a plus 2d is a sequence. Here second term is a plus d. That is 14. So we know that d is 4. So a plus 4 is equal to 14. That is a equal to 14 minus 4 is 10. We get first term a equal to 10. Here d equal to 4 and a equal to 10 we can find s51 so you know that sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d similarly n equal to 51 okay so s51 equal to 51 by 2 into 2 into 10 a equal to 10 plus 51 minus 1 into 4 d equal to 4 so that implies 51 by 2 into 2 tens are 20 plus 50 into 4. We know that 50 into 4 is equal to 200. That means x51 equal to 51 by 2 into 20 plus 200. 20 plus 200 equal to 220. We get 51 by 2 into 220. We know that 200, 220 are cancelled. That is 110. So, S51 equal to 51 into 110. That is equal to 5610. Okay. Hence, the 51th term of AP is 5610. Okay, are you understand this question? So, 51 the term of the AP equal to 5000. Sum of the 51 terms. Here, sum of the 51 terms is 5610. Are you understand this question? The next question, question number 6. Question number 6 is, first and last term of AP. Here, first and last term of AP, 17 and 350, respectively. If common difference 9, then how many terms are in AP and what is their sum? Okay, so here we can check how many terms, how many terms means number of terms N and what is their sum, that means SN, okay. So here first and last term is given. We know that first term is a equal to 17. Okay. First term a equal to 17. And last term. We know that last term l. That is a n equal to 350. Okay. And common difference equal to 9. Here a n equal to 350. 
so we know that the formula of nth term a plus n minus 1 into d n equal to a plus n minus 1 into d that is equal to 350 so here a equal to 17 and d equal to 9 so 17 plus n minus 1 into 9 equal to 350 we know that n minus 1 into 9 equal to 350 minus 17 okay so n minus 1 equal to that implies n minus 1 equal to 333 that means 350 minus 17 is 333 divided by 9 333 divided by 9 is 37 so n equal to number of terms n equal to 37 plus 1 38 so here n equal to 38 then now sn is equal to we can find sn here sn is n by 2 into a plus l we can use this formula because the given question last time is given okay so n by 2 into a plus l we know that a equal to 17 l equal to 350 and n equal to 38 so sn equal to thirty eight divided by two into a a means seventeen plus three fifty. Okay, that is equal to you know that thirty eight by two is equal to nineteen. Nineteen into seventeen plus three fifty. Seventeen plus three fifty is equal to three hundred sixty seven. So here nineteen into 367 so 19 into 367 is equal to 6973 okay that is here n equal to 38 and sn sn means sum of terms equal to 6973 okay are you understand these two questions sir therefore question number seven as a homer question the question number seven is find the sum of all all numbers divisible by three between one and a thousand so that question is homework thank you